us are amazing. And I'm going to be talking about how the pyramids were built today. Welcome back. The first theory we'll be talking about today is a theory that they used ramps to create the pyramids. So first, they had two ropes attached to a sled. And they had a lot of slaves pulling the long ropes to the top of a ramp where they would curl around two separate poles so that they could walk downwards, adding extra strength, while the sled that was pulling the heavy block is still going upwards. This is a very likely way the pyramids were built. We'll show you more on how it works right now. Welcome back from the first break. Now we'll talk about the theory that they use sleds. To begin, thousands of slaves would pull a sled with the blocks on them while Slaves would pour water on the sand in front of them. Studies have proved that pulling a sled on wet sand requires only half the strength of hauling it on dry sand. This is another way the pyramids were probably built. Uh, 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 ah! pour water in front of the blocks to, so that the sand would not build up in front of them. This is less likely, but still may have happened. To begin, they were able to create a crane-like structure that they used like a pulley system to hoist the blocks to their location. Many slaves would be pulling the rope down to lift the blocks. This is another way that the pyramids could have been built. They built two large antennas with a copper-like substance called caduceus coil. These two coil generators created a soltron field, or in other words, vortex. The possibility that they knew this technology before we did is highly unlikely. <laughs> 